Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where today I'm going to answer the question that you have been asking yourself in moments of loathing and self-pity this whole freaking time. And it's going to be so easy. Like, it's just going to be one of those things. You're going to go, oh, oh, that's what we're doing today, okay? So the question, okay, the question that we are going to be answering today is, are you good enough to be a professional writer? Are you good enough to make a living on this? Are you good enough to have this be your source of income? Yes, you are. Okay, you don't have to watch the rest of the video now. You, you are. You, you're, you're fine. You're fine. If you want to know why, keep watching this video. But if you got shit to do, you know, if you don't like waiting 20 minutes for a live stream to get to a topic, there you go. Go. Why are you still here? <sighs> oh, hi, you're still here. Okay, so you want to know why you're good enough to be a professional writer. All right, okay. So some of you may be asking, like, who is the judge? Who is the arbiter of being good at writing? And there's a lot of people out there who say they are that person. Those are usually deemed editors. Um, sometimes they are agents, sometimes they are publishers, okay? But it's still subjective. Now, is there objectively good writing? Well, there's objectively proper grammar, okay? But I don't think there's objectively good writing because there are tons of examples through history of bad grammar, bad writing, being considered great works of art, whether it be anything that's kind of Southern Gothic writing out of the dialect of how people speak. And some of you might be going, yeah, but that's just the dialogue. Like in all of the other uh, parts of the book, it's, it's very grammatically correct. Okay, whatever. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm trying to explain to you that you right now at this level are capable of being a professional writer, chasing your dreams, achieving your dreams, becoming a professional writer, where writing is the only thing you do, okay? A lot of you might be going, like, how? Like, I don't understand. Like, I've been doing this forever, and I'm not that good at it, or at least I'm not making money at it, um, blah, 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 blah. And here's the thing. You do not have to be a good writer to be a professional writer, but you have to be good at marketing, okay? That's the, that's the kicker. That's the rub. That's the thing that a bunch of you just went, Ugh, this motherfucker puts a bunch of wind in my sails and then he fucking takes it right back out. Yeah, that's true. You have to be good at marketing. You have to be able to find your audience. You have to be able to have your audience love what you do enough to hand you dollars for the privilege of letting their eyes run over the stuff that you do. You have to be that good. Your work could be absolute garbage if you have a connection with your audience. But the only way you will know that that connection exists is if you are good at marketing and able to curate an audience. For instance, there are a lot of people out there who absolutely love my work. There are a lot of people out there who say I am their favorite poet or author, okay? There are also people out there who think I'm a total fucking hack and have no talent and that everything about me is just a cult of personality and it has nothing to do with my writing. Now, I think both can be true and here's why. Because the people who don't like my work 
can't argue that I have an audience. Okay? They understand that people buy my books and appreciate my work. They don't get it, but they understand that it exists. They don't like it, but they understand that it exists. Those of you who have a bunch of my books and love my work and all this other shit, like, you might be saying, like, how could someone not like you? Like, you're great, blah, 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 blah. And that's awesome, and I appreciate the fact that you feel that way, but not everybody does, and that's okay. The thing that we have to fucking break in our head is you guys all think that everyone has to like your shit, and that's never going to happen in a million fucking years. Okay? Out of 10 people, maybe one will like your shit. And all you have to do is let that one person know how important they are to you. And fuck the other nine. Like, not physically, but just, like, fuck them off, you know? So, again, like, if we keep extrapolating these numbers and figures, for a 100 people who see your work, only maybe 8 to 10 of them are actually going to like it. And that's okay. Those 10 people are your fucking crew. That's your fucking core. So many of you write and are freaked out because you're afraid people aren't going to like what you do or think that you're not good. Or you get like really bummed out when like you put your book out and you only sold five copies in the first week. That means if you sold five copies of your book that first week, that means like seriously, like anywhere from like. I don't know, 50 to 500 people saw that book and passed on it. That's awesome. You got your book in front of a bunch of people. Do you see what I'm saying? And those five people that bought your book, don't say I only sold five copies of my book. Say I just made five fucking lifelong fucking fans. And the only way you know that those fans are going to be lifelong fans is if in your marketing and your correspondence, you like cultivate those people into being your fan. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's all about fucking relationships. Like back in the day when the big five or big four or big six or nine or however many there were kind of like ruled the fucking world the relationship readers had with books wasn't a relationship they had with an author as much as it was a relationship they had with the publisher or the imprint or the logo or the spine of a book. They're like, oh man, look at all these orange spines on my bookcase. This is fucking badass. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. This is good shit. Those days are gone. You have to build your relationship with your readers. And a lot of you still might be saying, mm, this sounds like bullshit. How many, ask yourself this question right now, how many people out there have book deals that you think don't deserve book deals? Yeah. Okay, so we agree that that's a thing, right? Okay, so why do those people have book deals? If it's not because of their talent as writers. It's because they have a built-in fan base. It's because they have an audience. Because if you have an audience, that means you can push paper. See what I'm saying? So your skill means nothing. You can be the shittiest writer on the fucking planet. But if you can cultivate an audience and have people who really dig the shit you're doing, you can do whatever you want. Now, some of you still might be saying, but if you're not a good writer, how do you build the audience? It's marketing. There are tons and tons of no talent fucking losers out there making all that money that you wish you were making, getting all that clout you wish you had. You want to know the reason why they're able to do it and you're not? 
might be because they're sociopaths, but it also could just be because they understand marketing. They understand curating and building a fan base and an audience. You have to pull your head out of, I have to be the best writer and everyone has to like me and put your head in to being the best marketer that you can be. Because that is how you make a living as a writer. So, I hope this tough love moment was good for you guys as it was for me. Go ahead and light your cigarettes now, folks. If you want to pick up any of my books, you could grab them over on Etsy until the end of May. Or you can write me an email and say that you want some and I'll send you some. Okay. I just booked another mentorship call, so I'm still doing that for the time being. So if you've ever wanted to do a mentorship call with me and just were like, mm, now's the time to do it. Because once I'm out of here, I don't know when I'm going to have time to do that. And I'm going to be on the other side of the planet. So I don't know how timing and all that shit's going to be. So get your books while you still can. Type hard, everybody. Join the crew down below. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.